Welcome to the first organizational vlog. Today we're going to Ikea to pick some things up for our kitchen and one of the main things I want to do is to add some nice decor like a vase with flowers and then I also want to update our fruit bowl so they can look a little bit more chic and right away at the beginning I found some nice options. This one I already bought once but I returned it because it was just too big for our kitchen. Then I also had the idea to use this cylinder glass vases as fruit bowls but now that I see them in person I'm not sure they would work and lastly they have this white wooden bowl that also looks nice but I'm just not sure if this is it. Then we also passed the section with sofas and I was looking at this small little sofas because my sister is moving out soon and we're going to have an extra room free so I was thinking of creating a little lounge area where I can do my journaling or meditation in peace but that's a future project I was just looking today and I can also document that transformation if you would like to see that just let me know. Then this is something that really caught my eye online because I want to use it instead of our current food caddy. I love that you can hang it if you want to, but more importantly, it really matches the bread bin in our kitchen and it just looks a little bit more stylish and intentional. Also here is the organizer I used in my makeup drawer. You can see they have many different sizes and options and I love organizer. They look great, <laughs> but they are also practical. Now to the important part, kitchen organization baskets. <laughs> I was thinking of using this in the kitchen drawer so I can section the food better and while we're at it I also wanted to quickly show you these little storage containers that we already have at home today I didn't bought any but they're so easy to use so easy to clean and we probably have more than 20 at home also, IKEA started doing things for pets, which is really nice, especially because we're just a few weeks away from getting a puppy. I know this is so exciting. And the reason why I'm looking at these glass containers is because I want to have a little jar with biscuits in the kitchen so we can have easy access to food to reward him while we train our puppy. As you can see, they have many different options, but I think I like the smallest one the best. And instead of buying an extra dog bed for the living room, our old doggy actually used to have an entire pillow on the couch so now we want to do the same thing we already have a really comfy cushion at home so all that we need is a cover first I was thinking of going black because it wouldn't get that dirty but I just didn't love the material so that's why I picked this beige one which even though it's a lighter color I think it will still be okay because we're gonna cover the pillow with a doggy blanket anyway so it's easy to clean and maintain Another thing that caught my eye today was this black chalkboard, but I just don't love how you cannot completely clean it. That's why I skipped it today, but not before my lovely husband wrote a little message for you all. <laughs> you already know the drill. If you're enjoying this video, I would really appreciate a like. It means so, so much to me, so thank you. <laughs> now, at the end, we also spotted these baskets that are also a great option to use as kitchen organizers, but I just felt they were a little bit too expensive to be hidden in the drawer so I didn't get them and I kept the white ones. In the decoration section I was really looking at the vases so I can add some flowers to the kitchen and I love the pink vase online but in person I just didn't feel it and then I started playing with fake flowers and the clear glass vases to see what I like but my ideas just didn't translate well in real life so I left all of these phases at the store. I did pick a white one though, which I will show you later. And lastly, to the small little pet section, we just needed to grab the dog bowl. And then I also noticed they have a cute round cushion, but it just wasn't softest to the touch. It was a little bit uncomfortable if you ask me, so we didn't get it. And here is everything we bought today. It's not a lot, but enough to make a difference in our kitchen. And honestly, I'm very excited to start reorganizing. As funny as it sounds, <laughs> decluttering and organizing is very relaxing to me. Two hours feel like 20 minutes. That's also why I wanted to do this kind of videos because I love sharing how I find solutions to my organizational problems. And now back to the items. The first thing I wanted to try is the replacement for our food caddy. The one we have right now, you can spot in the back and I just don't love how big it is and it doesn't really go with our decor, it's just a little bit out of place. And and 
I know I could technically put a caddy inside the cabinet door and hide it, which I did try before, but I personally love to have a food caddy on the countertop. It's so much more practical for me when I'm doing something and my hands are dirty. So this is just what I prefer. And now I just hang it up to see how it looks. But then I also wanted to try hanging our current caddy. So I got these little hooks <laughs> and this was just an idea in my head. And as soon as I put it on, I was like, nope, this doesn't look good. This doesn't work. And that's why the hooks are going back. And then I also thought that maybe I can have the new caddy on the counter instead of hanging. And I think I like this option the most, but usually when I'm doing things like this, I hang it for a few hours and I see how I feel. Then I put it on the counter and I see how I feel. So of course I will update you which option I prefer the most, but so far I love the caddy. And then I tackled the corner. As you can see, it's pretty bare and boring. So I decided to buy this white vase, which is perfect for the corner. And I added some leaves for the greenery that I wanted so much. And at first I was just placing everything inside so I can see how it looks. But because I just wasn't sure what would look the best, I also bought the white flowers, which I also tried separately. And then in the end, I tried both options together and I think I like this one the most but of course I can always change my mind these fake plants are really inexpensive and I can use them in other parts of the house if I don't like them in here but so far I feel like I can commit to them and I can start shortening them because obviously the flowers are too high all I used here are my pliers and a little bit of twisting and I was done in no time but I still felt they were a little bit too high so I repeated the process again shortening just a few centimeters off this time and I think this looks so much better and of course I also had to take off the labels of the bananas because if we're doing this we're doing it right <laughs> and this is the final look for now now to the drawers the first one is our snack drawer that even though it looks a little bit empty right now it can get very messy when fuller so first I just quickly tried the baskets to see if they fit and they fit so well it's like they were made for this drawer which makes me so happy and now that I knew that I'm gonna keep them I decided to quickly wipe everything down so they're nice and clean and even though I didn't do it on camera I also did take the labels off at the bottom because that bothers me even if you cannot see the labels I know they're there <laughs> now to the first basket I wanted to create a nice little chocolate sweet bar basket so I love these protein bars and recently they were selling them in bulk for a really good price so we really stocked up we have even more in storage <laughs> so we're gonna have this basket full for a while and then I also added some date and nut bars they're kind of more natural alternative and I just love how all of these bars fit inside for the other basket, I wanted to create a salty variation. So I added the crackers, the gristini sticks, <laughs> and also some nuts. And I just love how everything is organized before these things were just sliding up and down the drawer and it was just super messy. As I'm doing this, I'm also gonna take the opportunity to clean the drawer. So I'm taking everything out, wiping it down, and then I can put everything that I organized back in. And I must say that this looks even better than I imagined. I also added larger snacks at the end and they fit perfectly. But then I also had the idea to use the smaller baskets for our back clips. We have big and small ones and we also have a pair of scissors because they are very handy so you can open the bags easily. My sister makes fun of how I open things. I'm usually a little bit messy and we also use them when we're stocking up on other foods such as rice, pasta or muesli or things like that. But then I also wanna reorganize the drawer above it this one is what I call a quick food drawer. <laughs> so if you're in a pinch and you need to make something quickly, you can make a soup or some canned food. We also have some tea, so variety of things. But soups are what I'm organizing first. I just love how these baskets are a little bit higher so they can hold all of the packages nicely up. And now to the teas, I'm gonna store them in the same way as before. I'm just gonna reorganize them in the basket. I did try to squeeze our coasters in here in this little opening at first but it didn't work so 
I'll just have to find a place somewhere else. Then lastly, I use a small little basket for the little packets of vanilla sugar and some baking stuff. And now that I'm happy with everything, all I have to do is just clean the drawer again and then we can start adding the new baskets in. Also, if you're curious what these cookies at the back are, they're specifically for homemade chocolate hedgehogs, which is something I make for my sister when she's been good, <laughs> when we wanna celebrate something because she really loves them. Now that the drawers are done, I'm just gonna clean everything and put things away. I obviously won't need the lids from the basket, so I will just put them in storage so I don't lose them. And then the gray baskets I will offer to my sister if she wants to take them with her. These are very old and I feel like we got our use out of them, but now that I've got new, better organizers, I don't really want them anymore. And then the last thing I had to find a place for are the coasters. I found some space in front of the soup and they fit inside perfectly and I love how they're next to the tea, so <laughs> perfect match. Now to the two little cute things we got for our doggy. First, I'm just opening his food bowl and it's the perfect size for him and it matches with our kitchen nicely. And then the little treat holder, I had a little bit of trouble opening it, but it's so cute. And now I wanna quickly show you our little Bali or bow, <laughs> we still haven't decided on the name. These are our two options, so we'll see how we feel once we get him. We've seen him three times already and he's such a sweet little puppy. He's a beaver terrier and I'm in love with how light and small this breed is. Our previous dog was a Westie and even though that's still a small dog, he had 10 kilos, which means we couldn't take him with us so often. But this breed goes up to 3.2 kilos, I think, which makes it so much easier to take him with us. And I personally love cute little doggies. And I must say I'm already attached to the pup, so I'm so excited I think we get him in around two to three weeks. So if you would like to see a puppy vlog, do leave me a comment with the dog emoji down below. I can document and share everything, how he's settling in and how he's growing. I think this will be really fun. <coughs> <laughs> but now that you've seen the footage of our little puppy, let's continue with the organization. It's been a few days since our IKEA trip and today I'm taking out my trusty label maker because there are some things that I've been postponing to do in the kitchen and that's what I want to tackle today. Plus I'm also going to update you on what I did with the caddy and also with the bowl and the flower. For the caddy we had it on our countertop with just a little bag in it and that's how we prefer it. I love how it matches our bread bin like I said but it's also the perfect size. It's not small meaning you cannot put a lot of stuff in it but at the same time it's not too big because the previous bin was just a little bit too big so we had to empty it before it was full anyways. Now to the flowers. I did shorten the stems just a little bit more and I also cut off some extra leaves so it's not as cluttered and because I added the flowers to the corner now the fruit bowls they don't really bother me and they actually suit the place. Now let's get back to organizing. Today I want to label my empty food storage containers. Some of them have a label missing and some of them I want to repurpose. As you can see, these are the food storage containers I was talking about in Ikea. We have so many of them. I love how you can see the food. They're very easy to use. You can just pop them in the dishwasher if you want to clean them and they're very inexpensive. So first I'm gonna take out all of the containers that need to be relabeled or labeled. And then I'm gonna start printing all of the different labels. I'm gonna use the same design and the font as my other containers, so that is already sorted. Now this container I want to repurpose today so I'm printing the word porridge and then I'm just gonna fill it with our high protein variation but once we use this one up we'll just fill it up with normal porridge then I'm just printing the label for my husband he has his casein casein protein I'm not sure but that's what I'm printing and then we have this little crispy soup balls I'm not sure how you call them in English that's why I just wrote down soup croutons and maybe it's weird that I'm writing things in English but for me when we started living in the UK I started labeling things in English and for some things I prefer it like our kitchen then for this container we just have our cornflakes nothing special we buy them without added sugar and they're not very popular in our house so maybe we'll replace them later but for now they'll do 
And then this muesli, it's actually a protein muesli from the same brand as the protein porridge. And we enjoy it very much. It's chocolatey, but it's also a lot more filling than your normal muesli. Then I also have to print the label for our chia seeds. I love this to make a pudding or to put them in the smoothie or protein shake. And now that I've printed everything, I just have to cut everything to size and then I can start putting them on. For reference, I took out our already finished container so I can put the label in the same place. And then I just put it on, trying to be as careful as possible. And for our coffee, this one is actually a decaf version. I was debating if I want to empty the container or keep it because we don't drink coffee. I personally hate the effect of caffeine on my body, so I try to avoid it. But then I remember this is perfect for tiramisu or sometimes in the summer, I love the iced latte. <laughs> so I will just keep it for that situation. And I wrote the label decaf coffee. As you can see, this process is so simple, but it makes such a huge difference. I also use the label to write down for how long you need to cook something like pasta or rice underneath the big original label and I personally cannot imagine being without the label maker. I bought it around eight years ago and if I can I label everything in our house. It just makes it so much prettier, more intentional and it was very inexpensive and it's so easy to use. I'm a huge label maker fan. <laughs> And then for our noodle container, this is something I want to repurpose. So of course I have to take the label off. It's a little bit difficult and I chipped my nail just a little bit, but I'm going to be fine. <laughs> but the reason I'm decluttering the food is because we never use it. These are soup noodles and I bought them because I love making vegetable soup and I thought I'm going to use them. And we tried a couple of times, but we just prefer eating bread with the soup or crispy soup bowls that I showed you before or even frittata. So I'm going to put them in a plastic bag and give them to my mom or grandma so they can use it up and we are not throwing anything away and then I'm just gonna quickly clean the container and I'm gonna put our protein porridge inside and this is so satisfying to me when I'm filling the containers up I love it <laughs> And I have to quickly clean the mess that I made. I also have a huge basket that it's kind of our storage pantry container, which I will get to in the second. But first, I just have to get everything out of the way. We actually have another pantry container that I just took out because I want to relabel this one as well. I just wrote back stock and I'm not even sure what that means. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna print new labels today. But these two baskets are our pantry. We don't have enough space in our kitchen, so this is what we use. And because the baskets are white and I want to see the label clearly, I'm also gonna quickly replace the cartridge, I think it's called, the ink, <laughs> so we have black on clear instead of white. And to make my life easier, I decided to label one pantry dry goods. So this would be everything from pasta, flour, salt, basic things you use on a daily basis. And the other basket would be called pantry sweets. So this would be maybe sweet snacks like protein bars we have right now, or even backups of chocolate powder or things for baking. Again, I just have to cut the label to size and then I can put it in the center. Again, I'm doing my best to do a good job and I just love Love the end result it looks so organized and also I'm gonna immediately know which basket is storing which items now that I have the labels on I have to reshuffle the food so it fits in the proper container and then I can put it on our top shelf at the bag this is something that we don't use every single day we reach for it maybe once every two weeks or three weeks so it's perfect to keep at the back and you can see the containers are the perfect size for this space and then on the front I'm gonna put again our IKEA food storage containers that we use on a daily basis here I'm storing everything from chia seeds our decaf coffee cacao whey protein hessian protein and also creatine for my husband and our final touches I'm gonna put everything back first the soup croutons and then cornflakes then for the protein muesli i had to turn the lid over because i want everything to face the front so it's unified and then i put in the basmati rice and i rearrange everything so it makes a little bit more sense now that i relabeled the soup noodles and then i can add the porridge and also our protein muesli and now everything is super organized and everything makes sense 
If you're curious what we have in our pantry, on the top, if we're going from the left to right, we have cornflakes, fruit muesli, protein muesli, porridge, quick pasta that only takes two minutes to make, whole grain pasta, cooking rice, basmati rice, and whole flour. Then on the bottom row, again going from the left, we have banquick, chocolate powder, chocolate sprinkles, coconut flour, brown sugar that is currently full with white sugar. Then we have semolina, breadcrumbs, frittatas, and lastly, soup croutons. Now, if you wanna see how I organize my minimalist makeup collection, then I will link it here so you can watch it next. Thank you for stopping by today and I will see you next time.